I can do this. Welcome to the tale of two Smitties. We're Cody, Laura, and Raleigh. This past year, we completed our schoolie bus conversion, turning a school bus into a tiny home on wheels. Subscribe and come along for the ride as we travel the country in Tots the Bus. Run away with me. Last time, we showed you our trip to Schooly Palooza, where over 200 bus and van conversions met up for some boondocking in the Arizona desert, which treated us to some unbelievable Arizona sunsets. As Schooly Palooza came to an end, it was time to say goodbye to some new friends and head out. We decided to travel back east past Phoenix and head to Apache Junction. Not wanting to arrive in the dark, we searched high and low for somewhere to stay. So we are 0 for 1 tonight. Uh, we are driving from Schooly Palooza to Apache Junction and uh, we stopped at a Bass Pro and uh, for some reason there's no overnight parking, so we are now at a Walmart, hoping for better luck. That was weird. <laughs> After striking out at Bass Pro and Walmart, we spent our first night in Apache Junction on the side of the road. Like, literally, on the side of the road. So you know what type of roads we're dealing with out here. I don't even think you can tell. Some of these are like two feet deep. So we're going like two miles an hour. Also a little bit of this. Don't swerve. Oh, he's got it now. He's, he's picking up some steam. So we just got to the campsite and we dumped a bunch of stuff uh, on the way in, dumped the cabinet. So let's check out the damage. We lost this basket off of the top of the fridge and then the game cabinet came open and we lost our dominoes, the computer mouse, We've really enjoyed getting to know our new friends, Chase and Maria Jose. They were gracious enough to share this gem of a location with us, and they are getting ready to kick our butts on a monster hike. We are having some friends over tonight, so I am doing a little bit of like a Southwest bowl, rice, corn, poblano, red pepper, black beans, gonna add some avocado, a little Tex-Mex,
Come here. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Like my white shirt? <laughs> it's not that bad. We have some new friends. So I got super <laughs> sunburned today. The lighting is beautiful. Uh. <laughs> hey guys, we are about to have dinner with some friends. I'm doing the rice, which is very much the easy part. And Maria Jose is whipping up something fabulous because she's an amazing cook and has been proving it time and time again since we've been hanging out. So we are making the treacherous drive back out of our campsite to go hiking. We're going to Superstition Mountain. Enemy hero! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> you! <laughs> woo 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 woo! All right, you ready? Um, I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. What do we know about this hike? We know it's tough, <laughs> and there's some scrambles, and it's and it deceivingly our... flat for the first little bit, and then it's flat at the very end. So I'm focusing on the very end flatness. Anything we should know, guys? Truthfully, I don't think the end is the yeah, worst part. <laughs> yeah, just don't fall and don't look back. I think it gets exponentially difficult. It's like flat, 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 and it keeps going up and up and up, and then we have to like actually climb to this one. <laughs> yeah, I think we see that climb part. Wish us luck. Not even halfway and this thing's kicking our butt. Oh man, this is a lot. How you doing? I'm a little tired. Out for me for sure but it's all about the summit right you're doing it yeah <laughs> that's halfway <laughs> where's halfway right there. that's like that the smooth part going up there like that that's halfway yeah. i'm gonna die <laughs> So everybody's got trail shoes on and I've got running shoes on. So the tread's wearing, probably shouldn't be hiking in them. Oh well. All right, so we are entering 
what they say is the hardest part. It's the smooth behind us. And uh, we'll see. It's also it's only like, the halfway point. It is the halfway point, but we got this. So this is level. So that's straight up. This is level right here. Let's go on the other way. This is straight out level. Next level vertical ascent. Timers, how are we feeling? Tired. Tired. Got it's, just enough energy. Yeah. Is it as hard it's, as you thought? Yeah, every bit is yeah. hard. worse. I don't think it's worse. Okay, cool. Your video is it's, very helpful. It's less, um, I was having trouble remembering if there'd be like on a ledge, like sneaking by stuff. And yeah. I was worried about yeah. that type of thing. There's none of that. It's just a little more vertical. There may be a yeah. little path <laughs> that gets top? steep oh. near the top. Yeah. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. You spoke too soon. It's, no, it's, it's pretty wide. It's a wide path. Would you do it's it again? I don't know. I feel like when I get to the top, I'll better answer that question. Okay, cool. It's best when you get to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Close. We're getting close. Man, this is no joke. I'm starting to get a little tired legs, so come, come ready. We're going up there. See, some people don't do the hike. Some people take a helicopter. What we didn't know is that we were about to encounter a gentleman on the trail who had fallen backward right before the top and was being airlifted off of the mountain. He was conscious, but it rattled some of us pretty good, mainly me, since I'm already afraid of heights. I don't think I can do this.
Cross the muscle with your right arm. Lift your elbow up like this and press. So I can't deal with looking at this, but I think y'all would enjoy it. So while we finish this flat part of the hike, y'all can take a look at the view. Because I cannot look. One of the goals we set last year was to experience new things. We were inspired to stop accumulating things and start accumulating experiences, memories, and adventures. Well, I think this qualifies. I feel like I could cry <laughs> out of scaredness and happiness, but it's pretty freaking sweet up here. It is pretty sweet. Can you see your bus from here? No, I was trying to look. I, I thought I could, but I don't think that's it. You do see it? Okay. I don't see it yet. There they go, hiking down. So this was a monster because Cody and I are nervous of heights, not very athletic, and um, this was super scary. So we're super proud that we did it, and I don't wanna say I'd highly recommend it, it was super scary, had a couple little moments, and we're just hoping we get down safely and post this and all is well. Thanks for joining us, friends. If you can't tell from my face here, I was struggling. It's too windy to hear what I'm saying, so let me tell you some things. This is, hands down, the hardest thing I've ever done. And I say that having walked on fire, twice. At moments, I was terrified. Heights, cliffs, injured man, which was my exact fear. Helicopter hovering over me while I'm trying to climb up the vertical face of a cliff. But a funny thing happens when you do hard things. You win. You accomplish. You overcome. I almost quit, but my wife and my friends didn't let me. They encouraged me, and they pushed me. So do what is hard, because you've made it through every tough day so far, and you've got plenty more in front of you. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got a cliff to climb down. You got it. So I think I'm gonna ready, like just drop. Okay. I got my arm around here like this. It's gonna be don't fall back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. Yeah. You're so right here. Yeah. I'm gonna go down so there's more space. You know, really <laughs> close, but yeah. Oh my gosh, you were so yeah. fast. Yeah. Listen to you. Yeah. You're about to fall. Yeah. To fucking crush that. Come on, guys. i mm -hmm.
All right, listen. We're having a, a check-in right now. Okay. How's everyone feeling? I'm feeling great. Great. Yeah. Super accomplished already. Yeah. I know we're not done, but I feel really Freaking good. Fantastic. Do you think this is properly categorized as a hard trail? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like one of the top ten in Arizona. Yeah. But don't give up. Just hold on tight. It'll be alright. life you've tried to be a good man inside did everything that you thought you should didn't seem to do you any good second person that is being helicoptered out of here. She broke her ankle, so not as serious uh, from a life-threatening standpoint as a guy that landed on his back and hit his head, but uh, yeah, she broke her ankle and she can't make it the rest of the way down. So luckily there's enough of a kind of canyon in here that the helicopter's coming to get her, so sheesh. That's not helping the nerves. How you feeling? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling really tired. Yeah. My uh, weird things are feeling tired. My shoulders feel a little tired. My hands are kind of feet up, scooting down and dragging them. So. Yikes. This is not an easy hike. There's no sugar coating it. Yep. We're glad you're here with us. So Don't give up. Breaking news, I have just learned that there have actually been three airlifts today. Um, I guess we just missed the first one. For you. Tonto. Oh, we are done with our hike. That's not true. We have about a mile and a half to go, but uh, <laughs> it's all flat from here on out. It's a little bit ish. easier. Actually, wow. I should turn around. It's not that flat, but it's gentle. So we did it. How does it feel? <laughs> This is ridiculous. Number four of the day. This is crazy. It was flooded. Oh. There was like trash everywhere. Drunk. Yeah. You have now finished the hike. Oh, Thoughts? It hurts. Thoughts? Woo. Fantastic. <laughs> Thoughts? Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Yep, me too. What's up? Very dead. So we just finished our hike up Superstition Mountain to Flatiron Hike or Point or something. And uh, I'm gassed. Like, gassed. My legs are jello. My arms yeah. hurt. It's... I'm scared to sit down in the bathroom. I may not get up. <laughs> it's no joke. It was gorgeous and beautiful, but it... It's really tough yeah. like no sugar coating it's super tough super tough well we did it we went up the mountain down the mountain made it back home everything at home was safe and sound the dog was fine um that's definitely the longest we've left her we made sure it was nice and comfortable in here it felt great and we are exhausted and so happy she's a little exhausted too let's go check on the other two of members of our family Are they oh, you're awake. How you feeling? I'm wiped. Raleigh's had a day too, it looks like. I left my, I think I left my sweaty shirt on too long too, and it was super windy up there. I just have like a chill too, so hope that's nothing, but took a nice hot shower when we got back. Short one. What do you think? Believe it or not, there were some pups on the trail.
Sometimes in life, you meet people that you just flat out like. From the moment that we met Chase and Maria Jose, we've just gotten along. We always seem to be on the same wavelength and traveling together has been easy. If you've had the pleasure of meeting them in person, you know that they are exactly who they appear to be on YouTube. And if you haven't already, check them out at Tio Aventura. We'll see you next week.